everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am creating a glass skin makeup look. Something super glowy, glossy, glossy eyelids and a bit of a tutorial vibes, you know, with the blush like going from the temples to the cheeks. I actually tried to replicate a look created by the makeup artist Danessa Myrix. This is how it looks like and she has quite a bit of a blush and she has a beautiful glass skin but flawless skin. Not exactly the same but it's close and it is glowy glass skin. So I'm going to show you from skincare steps to the final touch how to get that look uh, knowing that the most important step here is skincare. You want to have a nice canvas to work on. So I'm going to show you what I used. I used quite a bit of products here. Don't feel obligated to buy all of these. I just, you know, I have so much makeup, I want to play with it. But if you have at home like some dupes, whether it's an oil, an illuminating primer, an eyeshadow, a blush, go for it, play with it. I hope you will enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. It was a lot of fun. Let me know if you would like me to recreate more uh, makeup looks like that, like red carpet looks. I found it was a lot of fun to film. Fully, it's not too messy and not too long. <laughs> you can always fast forward it in uh, the little parameters like right here, you know, or yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Instagram. And with no further ado, let's get that glowy glass skin. Okay, so first of all, when you want a glossy makeup look, you have to prep the skin. You can't apply products, glossy products, on a skin that is dull, that has dry patches, that has a bit of texture. It won't look good. It won't look good. So I'm going to start with doing a little mask, a uh, vitamin C brightening mask by Rodial. I really love that mask. Uh, it has 5% pure vitamin C and a blend of 10% exfoliating fruit AHAs and glycolic acids. And when I use this little guy, I apply a generous amount, like, you know, you just... So you press down and you get the mask coming out. A little bit like the Drunk Elephant Lala Cream packaging. And I just scoop it out and I apply a generous layer all over my skin. I avoid the eye area and I'm going to let it sit for 20 minutes. So when I do this, it's a tiny bit tingly. I can already feel it. And I'm going to let it sit for 20 minutes. When I rinse it off, I always find my skin brightened and more like shiny, like a nice smooth base, a good canvas for my makeup. So I'm going to wait a bit, watch a little bit of something or read my book and I'll be right back. Okay, I just rinsed off the mask and my skin feels nice and smooth and clean. Perfect. I'm going to feel like I'm going to regret wearing my hair like that. I feel tired guys, so I'm sorry if it's a weird video today. It's like July and it's been raining most of June. So I don't feel I don't feel like summer at all, but we're gonna bring some summer onto our skin. Some summer bronze and glow. Okay, so right after that I like to uh, spray a bit of my fresh vitamin nectar, antioxidant glow water. Feels nice. Okay, I don't let it dry too fast. And um, it's time for an essence. So usually Either I go for the fresh black tea kombucha facial treatment essence or I go for the tatcha essence. It depends, I have lots of them. I'm gonna do the tatcha. It's been a while. I'm just putting some in my palm and I'll go for it. You wanna dab, dab, dab the essence onto your skin. Okay, I swear it's not sponsored <laughs> by tatcha. I'm just gonna use a lot of it today. I'm gonna use the Violet C Brightening Serum, two pumps. And once again, I like to press it onto the skin and 
you can go down on your chest. People are always a bit wondering if they should put the oil before or after the cream. Personally, I like to put it after the day cream just because it kind of uh, seals the moisture for all day long. I like it or before going to bed. So I'm just going to use the dewy skin cream. I really like that cream. It's good for my dry skin, living in the dry Alberta climate. You can use any oil, like if you have marula oil or any oil you like, herbivore or kid facial oil. It smells very, very good. And I also like the Emerald Cannabis Sativa Hemp Deep Moisture Glow Oil. Since we're going for glowy skin today, I'm gonna take that one. For a lot of my skincare, I like to keep it in the box. So it's in the box in my bathroom, in a drawer. And I just really like how they put a little pamphlet in the box explaining why they, they started to use cannabis oil in their uh, skincare line. And um, all the ingredients here were like what uh, uh, cannabis contains, you know, and what are the properties. So it's very informative. So I'm just gonna put a few drops, not too much, but see already we're quite glowy, but I'm gonna lock that moisture with like a few drops of, of this oil. There you go. Now we can keep going with oils and whatever you have glowy, just put it on your skin, drench your skin with it. If you want to be a bit more bronzed, I really like to use the Drunk Elephant de Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. Um, we don't have to use that today, but we'll see. And then the Rodial Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer is really nice too. So I think I'm gonna use that one actually, because I, I don't think I ever used it on my channel. And I really like that brand. I think we don't hear a lot about it, at least here in Canada. So I'm just gonna put a few drops and I'm just going to locate it on the cheekbones, nose. Uh, not to forget some eye cream. I'm gonna use Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I've been enjoying that cream a lot. Okay, I should use my ring fingers, if I can find them. <laughs> so I've kind of been in a rut lately, didn't know what to film and then I was like, oh man, I like the glossy look, the healthy glossy look. I think it's so pretty when you see it on models and things like that. You know, when you see Kitty, Jane Hughes, like, or Nikki makeup doing a glowy makeup, you're like, oh yes, I want to look like them. That's what we're going to attempt today. Products. So I'm going to use a bit of the Denisa Myrix Beauty Illuminating Vel. And that is in the shade Serenity. It has a bit of a metallic uh, look. So if you have pores, I would just avoid maybe this area. Okay, it might look like Tin Man right now, but under foundation, this is lovely. This is very pretty. You can put it on top too. I'm just going to go down. And Serenity is perfect for my skin tones. She has different shades. Just gonna put a little bit of lip balm. I'm using La Neige Lip Glowy Balm Berry. This is very nice, a bit lighter than the original. It smells delicious and it really hydrates your, your lips. Well, we're not done with the glow. I'm gonna use my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just going to apply it on a strategic points, so the nose, forehead, a bit more here, here, keep good small, and why not here, and I'm using my hands to blend it, so I'll try maybe to do a drugstore version if you're interested, I know this contains a lot of um, high-end products, I'm sorry, but use any kind of oils and illuminating primers you have at home. I have all these products, I may as well use it. <laughs> we are looking sweaty and glazed like a donut. What I noticed very often, so I'm gonna show the picture, because I probably show it on, only in the intro. I have several I really like, so I really like this look. Hopefully you can see that. 
and this is by Model Malay. Well, this is really cool too, a bit more smoky, but you see how glowy is her skin. I really like that one. So this one is by Danessa Myrix. This is so, so nice, so lovely. So I'll try maybe to replicate this if I can. So I feel like all these girls, they have very shiny, glowy skin, but uh, it also looks like they have a good coverage, you know, for foundation. I think I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I'm gonna use for the first time the uh, Super Sponge. I pre-ordered this one like a few months ago now and they just arrived. Okay, so this is a silicone infused sponge. I just went and wet it. It expands a tiny bit, but not like tons, mostly here probably. And then all the rest here is kind of a silicone coat. So let's say it's not absorbent, two to four times more foundation coverage, marshmallow soft sourced from ultra premium materials. Let's say it expands like a regular sponge uh, when wet, antibacterial, silicone infused barrier limits bacteria, longer lifespan, lasts two to four times longer than other sponges. And it also comes with a little scrubs clean. Use soap and scrubber for an easy clean. I'm gonna apply a few dots of my Laura Mercier. Hopefully it's not too light. Not that I tanned a lot in June. Thank you, Alberta weather. It's so brutal. So it's chilly, guys. Okay, and I'm gonna apply it, dot it all over my face, whatever is left, apply on my neck. And I'm gonna start. It feels nice. I like the idea that you're not going to waste too much product, you know? Like it's true, Some very often when you use a sponge, like it absorbs like a lot of the foundation. See, and I still have the glow. I have a feeling it's a tiny bit light right now. So you know what? I'm gonna use a bit of my Drunk Elephant, the Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. I know it's not supposed to be on top of makeup, but just to bring back a little bit of uh, that bronzy look. I feel like I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm experiencing, guys. I'm with you and experiencing a glossy makeup routine. Like, I've done some of this, but never like full on glossy well i'll let you know a bit later what i think but so far i think it looks good i like that it's very pointy here so i can really go into a little nose crack here okay for my under eye area i'm gonna do what i do usually i'm gonna use my becca anti-fatigue under eye primer followed by the tarte cc under eye corrector for concealer, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer in the shade Free. Go home with a concealer because those girls, they look flawless. Go back with that little sponge. Okay, so this is how the skin looks like so far. You know what, I just want a tiny bit more of a Danessa Myricks uh, Illuminating Veil. I see that she puts it on top of the foundation. So I'm gonna try it with the sponge too, actually. Might be a mistake. I'm just really going for it, so. She has a foundation and I, I want to buy a foundation of hers, but like I have a feeling she always mixes like um, two shades at least. So I'm not sure which shade it would be, but uh, let me know if you tried her foundation, what you think of it. I'll be curious. All right. So very quickly, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Uh, I want them to be very, uh, f you know, feathery. So I'm gonna use a Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. Just do something like that. And then I'm gonna use my Benefit 24 hour brow setter 
For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Glow Cream Base from the Natasha Denona Tan Palette, just because it's right here. I'm actually, you know what, I'm gonna use my fingers. I think it's a very nice bronzer. And since we are almost using like only cream products, this is ideal. Once again, any cream bronzer you have at home will do. A bit in the center of the nose. And under. Just to look a bit more sunburned chin. I don't want to contour too much today, but you could if you wish to. Get close to the hairline. My favorite blush of the month of June. It's the Galant Universal Blush. I love that thing. It smells so good. Mm. And I just love, love, love the finish. I'm just gonna go with my fingers. And dab on to the cheeks. Okay, a little bit on the nose, why not? Tuk, tuk. Okay, for an everyday look, this is very pretty, this is glowy, glass skin look. I think it looks like glass skin, I don't know if my light maybe is too... Yeah, there you go. You see a bit more without the light, but because it's so uneven, I need to figure out my lighting, but... So it's glowy, I'm just gonna turn on the light a bit, a bit more again. Um, but if I look at the photo, she has way more color. So she has that pink that goes like from her temples like to the cheekbones or vice versa. So I'm gonna try the Natasha Denona Duo Glow in the shade Rayo. I haven't used that thing for a while. And we'll see if uh, it's getting close to that lady's makeup here. I know she probably used like a pigmented cream blush, but I think this will do. I'm gonna use a Real Technique brush that I got at Winners actually, and this is a Rebel Edge Medium, so we'll see. I'm gonna dose it with pigment. And we're gonna do what? We're gonna try to replicate our look, so let's go for it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Kind of works, I think. That is for sure glowy. This kind of looks like it's hard to wear on an everyday basis. I would say like it's cool for photos, but it's for sure working though. It's pretty. I think that brush is perfect. And so let's see. I think she has some. Ooh, have a look. Yeah, she has it on her lips too, so let's go for it. Oh, we are for sure glowy. It's kind of fun. Spray with the finger to see what it does. But our, our eyebrows are way more defined, actually. Hmm. We'll see. And she looks even more sweaty than I do. I feel like I need wet hair <laughs> with that look. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more highlighter um, because we're not glowy enough. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the Chanel Baume Essentiel in the shade Sculpting. And I'm going to use my fingers again. Just going to place it right here. Well, this is a fun look, guys. We're having fun. And let's look oily here, too. Why not? And the forehead. 
Then uh, let's take a look quickly. I think I need to define the eyebrows a tiny bit more. Let's do them a tiny bit more dark and more defined at the bottom. Okay, now for the eyes it's pretty easy I think. She has very soft. She might have a tiny bit more brownish color than that pink. To that shade right here, so just lightly dust my brush over it and it's way darker than I thought. Shoot. Well, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Whatever, that's fine. It's pretty, but it's not what I wanted. So let's go to BRB. Okay, well, I'll try to fix it. And I'm actually going to add a bit of the shade Awakening from the Sunrise palette of Natasha Denona. And I'm just gonna go with my finger. I'm telling you guys, I'm playing with everything in front of me. Anything you have that is kind of those shades, play with it. Uh, she has highlighter in the inner corners. Again, whatever you have. I'm just trying to use up my makeup, um, and I'm kind of I'm gonna mix those shades together. Place it in the inner corner, and uh, why not in the center? Nose is not perfect. I don't want to highlight it too much, and uh, then I'm going to I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Boss, which is the black. And I'm going to tight line. I don't think she has anything in the waterline. Well, she does, maybe a taupe. And because I have bigger eyes than her, I'm going to use my number seven Stay Perfect Amazing Eye Pencil in the shade, I say brown, but it's more like a taupe. Okay, so I'm going to use the Vanessa Myricks Color Fix in the shade Glaze. This is just a clear eye gloss. And I'm going to put it all over the lid. That should bring that wet effect. Super cool. She doesn't have much mascara, but I'm going to add some. And I'm going to use the new Too Faced Damn Girl mascara. Now if you go for something more editorial, I would skip the, the waterline here and maybe mascara, but I like mascara, so I'm gonna go for it. And look at that huge brush. Ah, I didn't, uh, didn't curl my lashes. And I don't know where my lash curler is. Ah, here it is. Mess, messy, messy. Actually, I don't wanna be too, too fast because if I mess it up, I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of it on the top of that gloss. It's not bad. For my bottom lashes, I don't want something too strong, so I'm gonna go with the Tarte Lifted mascara, and it's a brown color. Just very, very lightly. I think, oh, you know what, I didn't miss, I should have missed. Look at that. Are we glowy? And now for the lips, she has something pink slash coral. I actually bought two of the new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, the hot lips. I bought the shade In Love with Olivia and JK Magic. So let's take a look. And these are refillable, so rechargeable for my French friends, which is pretty cool. And the packaging is great, so this... Uh... Did you see that flying? Awesome. Uh, okay, so this one is In Love with Olivia. And look at that packaging. This is so lovely. So let's take a look quickly at the color. I think that might work. 
or we have JK Magic, so pretty once again, and a bit more brown. So I think I'm gonna go with In Love with Olivia for today. Let me know if you want me to use uh, the other one in another video, which I'll probably do. Anyway, so we still have a bit of a lip balm, that's okay. And let's try that little guy here. The shade looked so pretty. They all look pretty. Well, that's actually the perfect color. Close to hers. Mmm, super pretty. And it feels lovely on the lips. And that's it, my friends. That is the final look. And I find it super cool, super pretty. It's fresh. It's very nice for an event. Uh, it's very nice for photos, you know, if you want to do something a bit more editorial. In certain lights, the makeup will look like beautiful. Either it's um, the golden hour and you go take fun of some photos outside, or very often I go in my bathroom. <laughs> Not that you want to spend the night in your bathroom, but and when you have some lights on the ceiling, uh, I always notice my eyeshadows, like whatever I put that is shimmery, glittery on my eyelids, look so much better in those kind of like dim lights actually. So I really like everything I use. I know it was a lot of steps. Once again, I like to repeat, you don't need all these products. It's just, you know, I think the, the main thing is to exfoliate your skin. I use the Rodial Vitamin C mask. That is a nice like chemical peeling basically. Uh, it's not abrasive, it doesn't have those micro beads that are going to like kind of like wreck my skin if I push too hard uh, and it gives me that, that nice like soft base for the makeup which I think is so important when you, do, you want to do like something glossy, glossy look because everything will be enhanced, like the texture might be enhanced. So if you have a lot of texture, I don't know, let me know how it works for you. I would maybe more like, you know, put the, the shine in strategic points, but maybe not all over the face. Quite like all the products I used, but once again, it was not really about the products. I tried the Charlotte Tilbury shirt for the first time with lip sync, and I think it's lovely, it's a very nice color, very pigmented, um, the Dan and Sam Myricks product. Well, I was following a look she created, but it's just like, I think this was um, appropriate for that look. So the illuminating gel, and the color fix glaze I think is wonderful like you can use that on any eyeshadows like cream shadows or powder shadows and it doesn't crease like I used it before and this is this is magic so and she has like glaze with a little bit of sparkles in it like I might get uh, a bit more like she has a black one I think like super super shiny too like it looks super cool anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up comment down below if there is like a look you would like me to recreate either i can't speak anymore either it's a red carpet look or uh editorial or an instagram photos you can also dm me the instagram photos you like and maybe i can uh, recreate the look for you so I hope this was instructive and informative and uh, once again, please don't get overwhelmed with all the products I used. I was kind of playing and experimenting with you guys today, so, and I think, well, it's quite fun and I am, I'm like a lovely glazed donut. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a good time watching the video, take care and I will see you in the next one.